Hey, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome transition in After Effects. Tutorial requested by a big damn hero. Bro, I'm not entirely sure if you're asking for this kind of transition or this one. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing this tutorial on how to create the second one tomorrow. So, cheers up, bro. So, I want to show you four different variations. And this is the first one. And it might look laggy a little bit because I'm recording. Okay, so, and there is this one. And you can create almost like limitless variations of this one if you, if you like are creative enough and yeah. So now let's create a composition. Okay, and these settings are fine with me and you can set it up however you want to. Five seconds is just awesome. So click on OK and you, you really want this to be around 60 FPS. Okay, and then you're gonna need to create a rectangle okay so it doesn't really matter how big it is because we're gonna adjust this later on so click and hold on Control alt and then the home button so the the anchor point snaps to the middle okay and from here on you're gonna click on position p4 position and we want to zero out this one uh, or we want it to be uh, yeah just the zero zero and then we're gonna need to go to content and then rectangle and then rectangle one make sure it's 100% by 100% then okay okay so we said 100 so now we're gonna need to go to here and then unlink these these sorry or 1920 by uh we want if we want like six rectangles then we're gonna need to put 1080 divided by six and after effects is gonna do the the math for us all right that's awesome so now we're gonna need to animate the position so go to around one second or something like that and set the position okay this one so we want it to be we want it to go to zero then zero this one out too and we really want it to be like here so zero zero and then let's click on p4 position and then zero zero okay so we can see that the anchor point is elsewhere where we, <laughs> elsewhere we want it so then zero zero okay so now we're gonna input here like uh, 19 1920 divided by two so it's in the middle and then here 1080 divided by 2 and then it's next to the middle that's awesome so now we need to go to the we need again to go to this anchor point and then drag this one to the top and click on control so that it snaps and then click on zero that's awesome so and now we want to move it to this top top right and now we want to move it to this top right corner that's awesome so yeah okay so from here on we're gonna go to the content again and then we're gonna add a repeater here it is and then we want six copies so it's not gonna create like six additional copies the, the total number of these copies is gonna be six so just so that we are clear or we might want just four okay and you can you can input however you how many you want and then for the position we want like here zero okay so they are just perfectly aligned and here we want like 10 oh shit <laughs> just just a minute Okay, so we want 10, we want 10, 80 divided by 4. Ten eighty divided by 4. Okay, and then we're going to need to go to rectangle again. Sorry, and then 
here we're not gonna set it to like 1080 minus uh, divided by 4 instead of 6 so I was gonna create 6 copies so sorry for this one and now it's gonna be great okay so I can see a little bit of gap here so we're gonna need to adjust that again position so 1080 divided by 4 and I don't know why it's not creating this, but yeah, it's probably because of this shit. Okay, so 10 here divided by 4. Then position. P4 position, then 0. And that's awesome, okay? So now we want to go again to content. And then, okay, just position. And then here, repeater transform one repeat transform repeater one and then click on the keyframe for position and then go back to the most beginning okay and just click on this one and click on you and then you're gonna have your controls so we want the we want this one to be sorry we want this one to be sorry again <laughs> we want this one to be like this at, at first or even a little bit further okay and then we're gonna need to push this one to the most okay just input zero and then that's exactly why we made it here so with that when we add zero it's gonna snap it's gonna snap so okay that's awesome let's see what we got yep that's definitely looking awesome for now and yeah so I don't even know why I put this <laughs> okay so just remove it okay so and now you're gonna click select all of these keyframes and then click on F9 to make it an easy ease but I'm not gonna do that because I'm recording so it's gonna add so it's gonna stop the video okay so F9 and then again select all of these and then go to the graph editor right click and make sure we're editing the speed graph so select both of both of these okay and you really want something like this so it's almost extremely pushed in this side and then you want the curve to look like this a little bit and then enable motion blur I think that I'm liking how it's looking so let's end it here okay so create the graph editor and now we want to extend this a little bit and then duplicate this layer control D to do that and then go to where this layer ends and then click on shift sorry for this Click on shift so that it snaps to this keyframe. Okay. So that's exactly how we want it to be. And now we're going to need to make this one. To, you can click on F4 and then you're going to get this. And then make the bottom one alpha inverted mat. mat. Alpha inverted mat. Okay so now you can see what's happening okay so we have the transition in and then transition out so that's like the basic way of creating this transition now if you want the trails you can just okay so let's say maybe we want it to end like here okay so click on n to trim this and then trim to okay awesome so and then select both of these and then control shift C to create a pre-composition. So make this like main trans. Okay. And then duplicate this one three times. Go to the most beginning. And then uh, click on page down like three three times. So that you move three like three keyframes forward in the composition. I think I clicked on two. Sorry so one two three and then click on shift and then move this layer 
composite pre composition sorry and then again three times and then shift to snap it and now we're gonna need to pre comp these three again and that's it so like make this one trans so for transition okay so we're gonna add these uh, a fill layer a fill effect to all of these so we can just go to effects and presets and then put the fill or just effects generate and then fill okay so but i'm just doing this fill then again fill and then if we go to the main composition so add this one and now i'm going to create a color control again go to effects and presets and then drag in a color control so i'm gonna name this one one then duplicate it two times and this should be two and this should be three and that's it so i just have like three colors that i'm gonna be using so this one is white and second one i just input the code and i'm gonna add them to the description so in case you want to use them okay and do not see any change because you didn't link these controls so again just go to click on this composition okay and then make sure to lock it so that this doesn't change and then go to here and then okay uh search click, click select all of these three and then search for color and then you're gonna get this so like for example this this is the first one so alt click on the stopwatch and then click on this big whip and then big whip that to the first one okay and then close it second one alt left click and then big whip to the second one and third one alt left click and then big whip to the third one close this and then go back and you can just change the color from here you don't even need to go <laughs> inside or yeah that's fantastic so now if you were going to like add a video clip or yeah we would just do this wait a second So go to the end and let's give it a render and see how it's looking like okay so i can see that this is looking much better than i had expected because i thought that a some keyframes are going to be a little bit jaggy and not so smooth but it went well and i suggest that you go for a curve just like the one i went for and i'm going to be putting the link to this project in case you want to check that out or use it in your own videos so this video is over and i hope to see you in the next one so if you're new to the channel then make sure to subscribe like our video if you did dislike it if you disliked it and yeah leave a nice comment see you next time peace